Karen Hoff, be the best bad presenter ever, break the rules, make mistakes, and win them over. Embark on a rule-breaking journey to become the best presenter you can be with, be the best bad presenter ever, break the rules, make mistakes, and win them over by Karen Hoff. This book guides you through the creation of captivating presentations by embracing your authentic self and forgetting the outdated do's and don'ts of public speaking. Discover the importance of connecting with your passion, engaging your audience with sincerity, and using the power of storytelling to influence and persuade. Learn to break conventional rules and create presentations fueled by your own energy, purpose, and emotions, transforming nerves into strengths along the way. Free yourself from presentation rules. Many people believe there are rules to follow when giving presentations, but this book encourages you to forget about those. Instead, focus on being your authentic self and letting your passion shine through. Talking from the heart is more important than being slick or polished. In fact, people are drawn to imperfections and authenticity. Forget about PowerPoint and focus on engaging your audience emotionally. By doing this, you will capture their attention and be more persuasive. Don't worry about making mistakes or being nervous, these are human traits that endear you to your audience. So, let go of the rules and embrace your unique style of presenting. The Power of Focus According to the book, the key to becoming a better presenter is to focus on your strengths and exhibit your passion. By paying attention and rewiring your brain, you can improve your presentation skills and confidence. It's not about fixating on what you're doing wrong, but rather channeling your gifts towards effective behavior. With proper focus and confidence, anyone can become a great presenter. Connect with your passion to connect with your passion on any topic, asking five questions can help. Start by exploring the relevance of the topic to your work and life. Then ask what changes you would make if possible. Identify the most significant aspect of the subject and what matters to you personally. Finally, consider how you could make yourself care if the topic doesn't initially interest you. By answering these questions, you can find your root connection to any topic and ignite your passion for it. Revolutionizing Presentations Understand how to give compelling presentations by breaking four common rules. Firstly, your objective should be to convince the audience to see your point of view. Secondly, passion should be the driving force behind presentations, not just conveying information. Thirdly, instead of practicing in front of the mirror, Familiarize yourself with the room and your voice. Lastly, skip the dated strategy of picturing the audience in their underwear and focus on their needs and wants. Concentrating on these elements will result in a successful, engaging presentation that will motivate, convince, and inspire your audience. You are the presentation. A presentation is more than just a set of slides, and thinking of it as a separate object can be counterproductive. Instead, remember that you are the presentation. Whether you're using digital aids or props, ultimately it's your delivery that makes all the difference. Your presentation is an expression of your own unique perspective and style, so don't try to copy someone else's approach. As Judy Garland once said, be a first-rate version of yourself, not a second-rate version of someone else. Presentations that captivate in Presentations That Captivate, there are six common presentation rules that the author suggests breaking in order to capture and maintain your audience's attention. Firstly, the traditional structure of opening with an introduction and closing with questions should be avoided. Instead, excite and engage your audience from the very beginning of your presentation with a surprise, challenge, or connection. Secondly, confidence is not an innate quality but one that can be learned and exuded through body language such as standing tall, keeping your chin up, and speaking clearly. Thirdly, the way you speak matters more than what you say. Utilize your voice's different abilities and know when to use silence for emphasis. Fourthly, scanning the back wall to simulate eye contact is fake and ineffective. Instead, make true eye contact by practicing with a friend and setting small goals for each presentation. Fifthly, storytelling should be prioritized over lengthy explanations. 
Stories establish connections and context and evoke emotions and thoughts in listeners' brains. Lastly, avoid using PowerPoint and bullet points. They often provide too much boring information and distract from the presentation's main point. Instead, focus on using methods such as storytelling, music, or pictures to deliver an engaging and compelling presentation. Embracing the Oops Moments Improv actors use the Oops to Eureka technique to turn challenges into opportunities on stage. According to Emmy-winning writer Jean Perret, maintaining a positive attitude is key. He advises performers to stay focused, reminding them that they're the star of the show, not the problem at hand. By doing so, actors build resilience and become better equipped to handle any situation. In other words, when something goes wrong, improv actors and comedians turn it into a chance to shine. Breaking Rules for Better Public Speaking In The Art of Public Speaking, the author advises readers to break some common rules in order to engage with their audience more effectively. One such rule is to not act like nothing happened when something goes wrong during a presentation. Instead, acknowledging the mistake and addressing it helps show that you are in control of the situation. The author also advises against ignoring nerves before a speech. Embrace the fear and channel it into positive energy through deep breathing exercises. Lastly, the author encourages speakers to not suppress their emotions. The passion needed for an impactful speech requires emotions, and by observing them clinically, speakers can choose the most appropriate behavior for their presentation. By breaking these rules, speakers can present themselves in a more authentic and engaging way to their audience. Break the rules. Karen Hoff, a former improvisational comedian and presentation coach, shares her hilarious and practical lessons on how to become a powerful public speaker. Her message is simple, be yourself. Hoff believes that staying true to your authentic self and embracing your imperfections as a speaker is the key to engaging your audience and becoming a successful presenter. By ignoring traditional rules of public speaking, Hoff advocates for speakers to break the norm and connect with their audience on a personal level. With anecdotes, personal stories, and practical tips, Hoff's advice is useful for anyone who must stand up in front of a group of people and start talking. In conclusion, Karen Hoff's Be the Best Bad Presenter Ever it turns the conventional rules of public speaking on their head, urging you to embrace your authentic self passion, and emotion to create captivating and impactful presentations. By ignoring outdated rules, focusing on human connections, and engaging your audience emotionally, you will create an experience that's both influential and persuasive. Strengthen your confidence, learn to face challenges, and adapt to any situations you may face during your presentations. Embrace your imperfections, tell powerful stories, and let your unique presentation style shine as you become the best bad presenter you can be.